you've got the, um, the formal commemoration of the, uh, the dam itself, or in the embankment, as they called it then. Um, so Sir John James Harwood Knight came along on the 22nd of August, 1890, um, to actually commemorate the dam. It's quite early, that 1890, because it didn't deliver its first water to Manchester until 1894. Right, well, this is where we're actually controlling the flow from the reservoir into the aqueduct down to Manchester. And what you can hear behind me is, in fact, 200 million litres a day of water flowing into the long tunnel, the three-and-a-half-mile-long tunnel we've got, which leaves this place uh, and starts that journey, that 83-mile journey to a big terminal reservoir uh, near Manchester. So what you've actually got here is a hole in the ground that goes down about 65 feet, and that meets the pipe that goes out into the bed of Thilmere. So we can draw the whole reservoir down to that level, and that's why that, that hole's that deep. And you obviously need to control the flow of water as well. As the reservoir goes up and down, you need to be able to adjust it. So at the bottom of this big hole, we've got some huge valves, which are just like your tap at home. You open them and more water comes out. And that's where we do all the fine control of the release of water. Well, we're about 10 miles from the reservoir now, and there's still another 72 miles to go. So it snakes its way all the way south. It'll cross another 27 rivers before it gets actually to the big terminal reservoir that we've got near the football stadium in Bolton. So what we do there is we've got a fantastic water treatment works which treats all the Thilmere water that's travelled all that way, treats it to a very high standard before we then put it into our version of the M60, which is our Manchester ring main, and then eventually to a customer's tap. <laughs> 